two, one, go! And this is the beginning of it. The autonomous period. 291 delivers a gear, but it's just a little bit on the edge. And a little bit too bouncy on that spring on the lift, and the gear falls to the ground. Blue Alliance has a slight advantage, 15 to 10, entering the teleoperated period. Right now, both teams start their first rotor with the preloaded gear. 44-67, delivering a gear to the pilot. She pulls it aboard. She's going to need that for her second rotor. The Blue Alliance gets the second rotor rolling. Red Alliance gets the second rotor rolling. Right now, they're neck and neck with a five-point advantage to the Blue Alliance. And now it's going to be a race to the third rotor. Red Alliance installs the second gear for the third rotor. Blue Alliance is at the second gear for the third motor. Two ninety one delivers another gear for the Red Alliance. That lift's been giving them trouble. Picks up another five points. It's an even 95 apiece, and we have just under a minute left to play. Two rotors each. 95, 95, 50 seconds left. Each team st still has to get the third rotor going. Blue Alliance has three gears installed. They need two more. If they can get that in there, that might be the deciding factor in this match. 34 10 has a gear for the Red Alliance. Looks like they're having some trouble on that lift over there. And that middle one's been giving them some trouble. This match is all knotted up. It's gonna come down to who's ready for takeoff. The slightest thing can make the difference and 291 gets up there early. We've got 16 seconds left and 291 is standing there waiting. They've got to hold up there that whole time. Blue Alliance still has no one ready for takeoff. 4467 comes into a collision with 291, but they stay in contact with the touch plate. 2656 is ready for takeoff. <laughs> that one was real even. They were neck and neck. Is anybody going to pull ahead? It was a tie, 145 to 